Hey everyone, I am a safety educator from the New York City Department of Transportation. And today I am going to teach you how to be safe when you're walking, riding in a car, or on a bike. Traffic safety is very important. I know that most of you have been indoors a lot these past several months, but many families are ready to go outside to enjoy the outdoors. I encourage you to be active outdoors as much as you can, but please be aware when traveling around the city. In New York City, we have a wonderful traffic safety plan called Vision Zero. Vision Zero has helped to teach people how to be safe as they move from place to place using transportation. What is transportation? Transportation is something that helps us move from one place to another. What form of transportation do you see moving back and forth when you're outside? I see so many types of transportation, like a car, a bicycle. When I'm by the pier, I see the ferry on the water. It's a big boat. I see trains. They're loud. I see big trucks. I hear them honking their horns. And I see so many buses, school buses and city buses moving back and forth on the streets. I also noticed that there are so many people walking and crossing the street. Those people are called pedestrians. I am a pedestrian. I am using my feet to get from one place to another. At DOT, we want pedestrians, drivers, and cyclists to be safe as they travel. So we maintain all of the streets and highways, install signals and signs, markings, bike lanes, sidewalks, street lights, and we also teach people how to be safe because it is important. How do we help them to be safe? We put safety tools on the street. Look at the crosswalk. When crossing the street, you should always walk on the crosswalk. Sometimes crosswalks look like a white painted ladder on the ground. Remember to always use the crosswalk. It's where the drivers expect to see you. There are signals to help pedestrians know when it is their turn to cross the street. The pedestrian signal that displays a pedestrian walking lets us know when it is our turn to cross the street safely. The pedestrian signal with a red hand and a countdown timer is very helpful. The countdown lets the pedestrian know how much time they have to cross the street. Let's count with the countdown. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Stop, do not walk. There are traffic signals in the traffic environment. They control the flow of traffic through busy streets. Traffic signals are a great safety tool for drivers. They signal the driver to do a specific action when the signal is a certain color. Red means stop. Yellow means slow down. Green means go. Wow, look at this sign. I know you've seen this sign before. It's a stop sign. Stop signs are red signs that warn the driver to stop and make sure the streets are safe and clear of other vehicles and pedestrians before continuing to drive past the sign. Do you know what shape a stop sign is? Of course, an octagon. Yield signs are signs that alert a driver to stop and let the other drivers go first. Think about where you may see a yield sign. Hmm. You're right. Maybe on a highway. When a driver sees a do not enter sign like this one, that driver should not enter that street. They have to find another way to drive. Guess where you may see a school zone sign. You got it. You can find school zone signs near a school. School zone signs are yellow, and yellow means slow down. 
when drivers see a school zone sign, they should slow down because they are driving near a school. And if there's a school nearby, then there are definitely pedestrians like teachers, parents, and students like you. Look, there's a picture of pedestrians on the sign. How awesome is that? Look at these one-way signs. If a driver sees a one-way sign, that means that the driver must drive in the direction that the arrow is pointing. Speed limit signs are very important. These signs have a number on them that let the driver know the speed to drive to be safe. What is a safe speed to drive in New York City? You're right. 25 miles per hour is a safe speed. Wow, there are so many great safety tools on the street. But guess what? There are personal safety tools that you can find on your body that can help keep you safe when you move around from place to place in your neighborhood. The most important safety tool is your brain. Why is your brain so special? Well, your brain will help you make the smart choice when crossing the street. Your brain will help you to think about safety. Your eyes are another tool that you should use when crossing the street. What would you use your eyes for? That's right, to look for traffic. When you get to the corner of a sidewalk, wait and look all around for traffic before you cross the street. And don't forget to keep looking as you cross. Hmm, what would you use your ears for when crossing the street? You got it. You use your ears to listen for traffic. You should always listen for traffic noises like a honking horn ringing bells, loud sirens, and even the music from the ice cream truck. Those traffic noises let you know that there is traffic nearby. So be safe and listen and look before you cross the street. What do we use our hands for when crossing the street? Yup, you're right. It's always best to hold a grown-up's hand when you cross the street. Also, use your hand to stay visible to drivers of large vehicles, like a bus or truck. Truck drivers cannot see small children as they cross the street. Raise your hand high when crossing near a truck to be seen. How do we use our feet when we cross the street? I know you know this one. Of course, we always use walking feet when crossing the street. When crossing the street, you should always do three things to be a safe pedestrian. Let's see what Steve does to be a safe walker. Stop at the corner. Use your eyes to look for traffic. Look all around you to see if any form of traffic is heading your way. Use your ears to listen for traffic. Let's practice together. Stop. Look. Listen. Wow, Steve is smart and safe when he crosses the street. Let's practice again. Stop. Look. Listen. Bravo. Great job. What do you wear to be safe and seen by drivers? Wearing clothes or accessories that are bright can help us to be more visible to drivers, especially at nighttime. So remember to wear a bright colored hat, scarf, gloves, any type of retro reflective clothing that will make you shine bright at night. We want drivers to be able to see us 
the pedestrians as they drive. We also need to be safe when we are traveling in a car. Whenever you are in a car, a taxi, where should you sit? That's right. In the back seat is the safest place for a young child like you to sit. When you're in the car, what do you sit on? You said it. A car seat is a safety seat for young children when they are traveling in a car. Most children your age use a booster seat when traveling in a car. That's the New York City law. It's an important rule. What do you wear in a car to be safe? Of course, a seatbelt. Always wear one. When you wear your seatbelt, you have to wear it the correct way. Let's practice together. Imagine you're putting on a seatbelt. Pull the seatbelt across your shoulder, over your chest, and buckle in the seatbelt close to your hip. Buckle right, low and tight. Remember, always sit in the back seat. It's always safer for children under the age of 13 to sit in the back seat because if there is a crash, huge airbags pop out near the front seats. And if you get hit by an airbag, it can really hurt your body. Stay safe, sit in the back seat. Let's change gears and let's talk about bike safety. How do you safely ride a bike? That's right, wear a helmet whenever you ride a bicycle, even when you ride on your scooter or skateboard. When you wear a helmet, you protect your brain from damage if you get into a crash. Where is the safest place to ride your bicycle? That's right, you should always ride your bicycle in a bike lane or on the sidewalk. What is the correct way to wear your helmet? Put on the helmet. There should be two fingers between your eyebrows and the helmet. Look up. Can you see the helmet? The straps make a Y around your ears for a snug fit. Buckle the helmet so it's a snug fit. Can you open and close your mouth comfortably? Well done. Let's test your knowledge. What do you remember about being a safe pedestrian? What is wrong here? You got it. The pedestrian was crossing the street when the signal showed the red hand, which means do not walk. Now he's making the right choice. He's crossing the street when the signal shows the walk symbol. What is wrong? Stay alert when crossing near a truck. Move back from the curb when you see a truck moving by. Trucks make wide turns and may drive onto the sidewalk. Hold a grown-up's hand, stop, look, and raise your hand high to be seen by truck drivers. What is wrong in this picture? You're right. You should always wear your seatbelt when you are in a car. Everyone riding in a car should be wearing a seatbelt. Everyone should wear it correctly. Buckle right, low and tight. What is wrong? You got it. Young children should never sit in the front seat. If there is a crash, the airbag will pop out really fast and hurt you. Always sit in the back seat wearing your seatbelt. What is wrong? Yup, right again. You should always wear a helmet when you are riding a bicycle, scooter, or skateboard. Protect your brain. Ride safely. You're awesome. You've learned 
all about being a safe pedestrian, passenger in a car, and how to ride a bicycle safely. So when you're outside traveling around in our busy city, be safe.